what's up Kalima Cam fam? I'm your girl Kalima and we are back with another episode of Kalima Cam. For those of you who don't know, I just launched my podcast so most of the videos that you're watching on the Kalima Cam YouTube you can also listen to on the podcast. You know, I'm just one of those people who, yes, it's nice to listen to music on the way to work, but sometimes it's like you just get sick of the same music and it's like, what can I do to start my day and hopefully have a good thought process going into that work or going into that lesson or that class or whatever I'm doing throughout the day. Create a new energy for the day and that's what I'm here to do. I am here to help you get it up. Get your relationship up, get your finances up, get your career up, and overall wisdom because Kalima Cam is where pop culture meets wisdom. For today's topic, I want to talk about what it's like to be a public figure. Now, either you're watching this because you're already a public figure or you are thinking about maybe going public, maybe starting something that you're going to be the face of the company or, you know, you're going to allow your social media to now be public and people are going to know you from a public side. Um, I have had my share of public experiences, honey. Um, I'm a red carpet host here in Los Angeles. I've been here for three years. I'm a SAG eligible actress. I'm a professional model. Um, just worked in entertainment for a long time, probably about 10 years, starting in Florida. I had a talent agent who booked me on huge jobs, um, commercials. Um, I worked with Tyra Banks. I worked on um, Home Shopping Network and I worked for a lot of um, big brands. With that, I didn't get a huge following, but I did become a public figure. That is the reality of a public figure. Whether you're a big figure to a lot of people to, who don't know you or a smaller public figure to a few people who don't know you, you still are a public figure to people who do not know you. And what I mean by they don't know you, they follow you and they create a perception of who they think you are. They don't know you. They slide in the DMs, totally trying to start conversations, or, you know, and sometimes they're creepers, but sometimes they're nice people, speaking to you as if they feel that they know you. And those are fans. That's what a fan is, right? It's someone who's a supporter, who gets your brand, who maybe is engaged and is entertained by your brand. And they, because you know me, I'm a little smaller, they they feel like they can just reach out on a personal level in the in the DMs and in my email and stuff and start a conversation, which it is welcome. I love it. I love to, to speak to my fans, but you will get creepers sometimes, you know, a little side note. Um, and you'll learn to handle that. But the main thing to know about being a public figure is unfortunately you cannot take things back. A lot of public figures have publicists and even security guards because they need someone to help them maneuver the unexpected. Being a public figure is not who you are to the public, it's who you appear to be to the public. You have an audience. What you allow that audience to know about you is the only thing that you can control. The Kardashians have done an incredible job at allowing the audience to know just enough where they're likable, they can monetize off of that, and create a brand that's just this much. We, we literally only know about 10% of Kylie Jenner's life. And that's a quote. She put on Instagram, what you see on television is only 10% of my life and my reality. She is controlling how she appears to the public. And she's done a pretty great job. She's monetized it to a billion dollars. That's the type of public figure we trying to be. She and many other public figures have proven that follows mean nothing without branding. She has been able to have a team behind her, moguls around her to help her following, but most importantly, her content and her branding has kept it on the up and up. 
that's a whole nother video, you know, branding and following. But that's super important. If you start to look at yourself as a brand, whether you want to be a public figure or not, start to look at yourself as a brand. Not caring about how you appear to people, not being so invested on do they like me, but being likable to yourself. Everything that I say, I'm as careful as I possibly can, but everything that I say, I can back up and hopefully elaborate and make clearer if it is misunderstood. Being a public figure means you will be misunderstood, but will you be able to still speak on that subject, take responsibility, backtrack if you have to, and clear it up if you need to. Be cognizant of how you appear, but don't be obsessed with how you appear. Be able to know that some people are not gonna like you simply because you're pretty, simply because you're successful, simply because you have pimples, simply because you love the color pink and your whole entire profile is like just pink everywhere. People who love pink are so disgusting and full of themselves. You've got to understand that there's going to be ignorant people out there who do not get your brand. And one of the best things that I read about branding is that it's okay because you're gonna filter out those people who are not supportive of your vision. When you're clear on your vision and you're clear on your brand, then you can execute that appearance as a public figure. I hope this helped guys. If you are a public figure, please comment below. Let me know what your experiences are or what's maybe one tip that you can give to other people who are thinking about becoming a public figure. And if you're not a public figure, let me know any questions that you have and how this video helped you and maybe what you've learned. Remember to also share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.